In this screencast, we'll get a quick overview of the JFrog platform designed to provide developers and administrators with a seamless DevOps experience across all JFrog products. It combines all functionalities in one unified place. Let's take a look at the UI. The platform UI includes an application and administration module and is designed to support the most commonly used workflows. We'll start with the application module. Here we have the dashboard where we can see a use case of one source platform deployment and two target edge nodes connected to it and configured to synchronize security access. Our source JPD includes Artifactory, X-Ray, Distribution, and Mission Control services, whereas the target edge JPDs include only an Artifactory service to support the distribution process. A JFrog platform deployment is also referred to as a JPD. It defines a single logical unit shared by all JFrog products. Here we can see the access federation configuration between the services, giving us security access from one centralized location. When working in a multi-site topology, it lets you sync your security entities, including users, groups, permission and access tokens, between the different JPDs. Let's move on to the application search. The global search provides a set of five dedicated searches for each of your resource types, including packages, artifacts, builds, release bundles, and a dedicated security and compliance search for viewing scanned resource results. We can search for artifacts in several ways, including a simple search or using the advanced search. We'll do a quick search for Nginx artifacts, and we can see nine results. Now we'll search for Nginx packages. This way, we can easily get the list of available versions for the package in Artifactory. The Packages page provides easy access to information about all the packages in your repositories. Here we have quick access to the most important summary information, including X-ray scan status, licenses, number of versions, and downloads. We can click on the package to easily drill down for more details. Here we can see the X-ray data including any detected security and license violations. The Distribution tab displays the release bundles containing this package version and the distribution status. The Docker Layer tab displays all the layers of our Docker image. And finally, the Repositories tab displays where this package exists in Artifactory. Let's go to the Builds module. Here we can see three builds with a high X-ray status. We can continue to drill down on a specific build number and see general information about the build, as well as the different modules published into Artifactory, their artifacts and dependencies, the X-ray data, including detected violations based on watches and associated policies, known security vulnerabilities that we can further examine to get the summary and description, licenses to the components, and the included components. We can go to the Diff tab and compare two builds, displaying all the differences between the builds that were detected, including new artifacts added, dependencies deleted, properties changed, and more. This tab displays the raw build info JSON representation of the build information in Artifactory. This data can be accessed via REST API or used for debugging. Now let's go over to the distribution module. Here we can see our release bundles. We can select one to view the specific details about this version. The content tab displays the artifacts, builds, and metadata in this release bundle. The Distribution Tracking tab provides a history for this release bundle version. The Spec tab displays the source Artifactory service from which the artifacts of this release bundle were assembled, as well as the list of queries that assembled the artifacts. Lastly, we can see the Effective Permissions tab displaying the user's assigned access for the selected release bundle. Now let's take a peek into the Pipelines module, where we can automate our DevOps processes. JFrog Pipelines makes it easy for us to create even the most complex pipelines. 
Here we can see our Artifactory and GitHub integrations, allowing us to connect from our pipeline steps through securely stored credentials. And here we can see our pipeline sources representing our source control repository GitHub containing our pipeline's configuration files. And we can see that they are successfully synced. Now we can take a look at our node pool that we'll need to run our pipeline. Every step in your pipeline executes on a build node that has been provisioned with a runtime environment. Through Pipelines DSL, you can control which runtimes your steps execute in. Node pools are a convenient way to logically group nodes. This enables you to run steps simultaneously in a pipeline, maintain nodes of different architecture and operating system, pin steps to run on specific node types, and more. We can see the node configuration and current status to make sure our build will run as expected. We can drill down to see our CPU, memory, and the storage we're using, as well as the node configuration script. Let's take a look at our Docker build pipeline. The top of the screen displays a visual representation of the entire pipeline workflow we can see our previous successful and failed runs. Let's run this pipeline by manually triggering the first step in the workflow. This pipeline demonstrates a simple pipeline that builds a single Docker image. While the steps are executing, we can view the log to see the shell commands issued by the step. We can click on each step to see what is happening. And our Docker build has been promoted in Artifactory. Now let's take a look into the Security and Compliance module, where we can define policies and watches to define and enforce security and license compliance behaviors specific to our organization. Here we can see the resources being scanned and the number of violations detected. We can drill down to see these violations in more detail. Moving on to the administration module, with the JFrog platform, administrators can centrally manage permissions across all JFrog products. We'll create a new permission by adding our resources to which this permission target will apply, including repositories, builds, release bundles, destinations to which you can distribute release bundles to, and pipeline sources containing our pipeline definition files. We can later assign our users and groups to apply this permission to. Additional functionalities include adding a single LDAP configuration for the entire platform, as well as monitoring the status of our services that are part of our platform deployment. Thanks for watching this JFrog platform overview video. Please visit our documentation to learn more about the many platform functionalities and our JFrog website at jfrog.com.